tie your shoelaces up, tidy your room, and don't forget your bike lock. And did you change your lights like I told you to? Don't you dare talk to me like that. Stop being so lazy. Stop wasting your life. Get out there and do something. Nag, nag, nag. He always did call me a nagger, but I felt justified in what I was nagging about. He walked around as scruffy as anything. His room was a tip. He could only communicate in cavemen grunts, and he was lazy. It's my job as a mother to nag after all. I contacted the guard and the signal box, and I turned off the power, and I went to look for the person underneath the train when I saw a group of people at the crossing. They were staring staring at me, looking at me like I had to do something. Something to make it all go away, I suppose. I heard a knock on the front door. Not unusual. Our neighbours always knocking for this and that. I was right in the middle of cooking dinner, not a care in the world. There was a man in uniform standing in the doorway. It did cross my mind, oh God, what's he done now? Six years on, and I still think of it. Especially if I drive that same train. I hate driving that train. Or if I have to go through that crossing. I still see the shadow. I still hear that thud. Some drivers never get in the cab again. Others, it has no effect on at all. Nothing prepares you for how it's going to affect you. I never want to go through that again. There's just too much work to be done and other things to be getting on with, like trying to ensure that there's a railway system safe and secure for hundreds of thousands of passengers to travel peacefully every day. I guess that might make me sound hard and emotionless. Nothing could prepare me for those words he said to me. I wanted to see him, see my boy. The man said no. I said, you can't say no to me. I want to see my son. You can't stop me. He's my son. But he said no. He really can't let you do that. He was very kind, but I couldn't make him change his mind. Now I understand why. Nothing left of my son. But there is one thing I can't do. I always get someone else to knock on the door and break the news. That's something I simply cannot do. I think it's the worst job in the whole force. I go to the crossing every day just to be there. Be at the place where he laughed, where he played, where my precious son died. I can't remember the last time I told him how much I loved him. <laughs>